Welcome Cobra Kai fans! In this part 1 episode, we're going to talk about a few main characters from the Karate Kid franchise that have yet to make an appearance on Cobra Kai. I might miss a few so I apologize in advance. Whether any of them make an appearance in the last and final season is still up in the air and could be considered highly unlikely. Okay, let's get right to it. Starting at number 1, my personal friend Daryl Vidal. If you're an OG fan like myself, then you remember Daryl from the first Karate Kid movie. Daryl Vidal represents the Locust Valley Karate Club, is a 1981 All-Valley Champion, and was defeated by Johnny Lawrence in the semifinals at the 1984 All-Valley Tournament. Vidal is a very skilled, flashy acrobatic fighter. By the way, if you haven't checked out my interview with Daryl Vidal, I highly suggest you do as I will post the link down below. It's one of my favorite interviews. On a side note, he is also the creator of the Crane Kick and a real martial artist. I talked to the Big Three directly about bringing Daryl Vidal back, so we shall see whether they do or not. They had a big opportunity to do so in Season 4 at the All Valley Tournament, but I guess they had other plans. Daryl could return for a very small cameo in Season 6. Moving on to number 2, Freddy Fernandez. Freddy also appeared in the first Karate Kid film. When Daniel Russo first moves to Celsi's apartment complex in Reseda, he meets Freddy by kicking the front door open and not knowing he was on the other side, and Freddy falls onto the ground. Daniel quickly apologizes, and they strike a conversation. Freddy then gives Daniel directions to his new apartment and invites him to join him and his friends who are holding a beach party at the beach to end the summer. Daniel accepts. That's where Daniel meets Johnny for the very first time. That same night, Johnny throws Allie's radio to the ground as he tries to talk to her about their breakup. Daniel picks it up to give it back to Allie. But Johnny wasn't having it and they start fighting each other. That's how the entire feud started. When Johnny defeats Daniel at the beach and Daniel was laying on the sand hurt, Freddy stood there, not knowing whether to help him up, but he walked away leaving Daniel there alone. After defeating Johnny in the finals at the All Valley, Freddy and his friends are seen hoisting Daniel up in victory. So I'm sure they had no quarrels after all this drama. I think everyone had a friend like Freddy in the 80s. You wonder if they kept in touch after all these years. At number 3, we have Dutch. Dutch was a major antagonist in the first Karate Kid movie. While Johnny was the leader of the gang, Dutch was by far the meanest amongst the Cobras. Dutch is extremely hot-headed, short-tempered, and intimidating. We know Dutch is currently locked up at Lompoc Federal Prison and his release date is unknown. He is often compared with Mike Barnes as they both have similar behaviors. Imagine if those two ever meet, now that would be interesting. Both Cove and William Zapka spoke with Chad McQueen several times over the phone to try to get him on this show, but commitments to his, his company McQueen Racing ultimately prevented things from working out. There is strong rumors of him possibly returning for a small cameo in Season 6. You might want to check out my video I did on his possible return. Dutch so far is the only member in Johnny's gang not to make an appearance in the Cobra Kai series. Number 4. We have Ned Randall. Ned was the leader of Colonel Dugan's Alpha Elite group in the next Karate Kid. Ned had a crush on Julie Pierce and tries to flirt with her multiple times, only to be rejected. Ned didn't take those rejections quite well, so he, he does whatever he can to make Julie's life miserable as a payback. After he sees Eric McGowan, a former Alpha Elite colleague, at the dance with Julie and later kissing in the car, it infuriated Ned, so he smashes his car windows and challenges him to a fight at the dock. Eric shows up to the dock but Ned defeats him with a little help from his alpha elite group. Julie then shows up with Mr. Miyagi and manages to defeat Ned. I have to admit, despite the movie's critics, I was impressed with Michael Cavalieri's role as Ned. I would love to see him make an appearance as he 
has stated many times on his social media accounts that he is more than ready to return. It would be interesting to see what he's been up to all these years. That is it for part one of this episode. Stay tuned for part two. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Until next time, thanks for watching.